Hi, this is Mary with Tax Tutor. I wanted to talk about the accounting method that businesses use. So most businesses can choose either the cash method or the accrual method, but what is the difference between those and what would cause a business to choose one versus the other? So first off, what are each of these methods? So for the cash method, the way that it works is that uh, income is recognized when cash is received. So when cash is deposited into your bank account, when you receive a cash payment or a check or something comes into your bank account or you receive a check, you get some kind of a payment that comes in, you recognize income when that payment comes in. Same thing with expenses. You recognize expenses when cash is paid. So when you write out a check or you charge something on a credit card or something is debited out of your bank account, somehow you recognize money leaving your bank account you recognize an expense at that point. So the cash method is very simple. It's cash in is income, cash out is an expense. Now what about accrual? So for the accrual, income is recognized when you have a right to receive a payment. So basically it's a right to receive. So when you are working in your business and you bill somebody, you send them an invoice, you now have a right to receive that payment because you've done the work, you've done everything that is required to be paid, you just haven't been paid yet. So under the accrual method, you recognize income at that point because you've done everything in your power, everything in your right to receive that payment or to be due that payment, uh, you just have not received that payment. So whenever you invoice a client, invoice a customer, you recognize income at that point, even though you haven't received the cash yet, that's when you recognize income. Now, what about the expenses? Expenses are recognized when you have an obligation to pay. So you receive an invoice in the mail. Let's say you receive, you had an attorney that was doing some work for you. You received their legal invoice for the work that they had done for you. You haven't paid that invoice yet, but you have an obligation to pay that invoice. That is when you recognize the expense. You recognize on your books an accounts payable because you have a payable for that expense. And that's when you are able to recognize that expense. So that's the, the, the basics of it. Uh, cash is when cash comes in or cash goes out, you recognize income or expense under the accrual method. When you have a right to receive the income, you recognize the income. When you have an obligation to pay a bill or to pay a vendor or to pay somebody, that's recognized as an expense. And all of these go into what are called accounts receivable and accounts payable, right? So when you have a right to receive, when you bill a customer, that goes into your accounts receivable. You have a receivable for that. Uh, under the you know, accrual method, your receivables are recognized as income when you record a receivable. You recognize your expenses when you record a payable. Under the cash, you don't worry about the receivables and payables as much. Uh, because you're just looking at the cash coming in versus the cash going out. Now, which method is the best for a business to use? Now, if you uh, have more receivables than you have payables, then the cash method is usually the better method for you to use. Because if you have more receivables coming in, if you're using the cash method, you don't have to recognize those receivables as income until that cash actually comes in. However, if you are using the accrual method 
and then you're going to recognize those receivables as income when they are accrued. So under the accrual method, if you say, okay, I have an accrual method, now I have a receivable, you have to recognize the income of those. So it's better to use the accrual method when you have greater payables than you have receivables. Because if you have greater payables, remember you're able to deduct those payables when they come in and you don't have to recognize, uh, and, but, and then you do have to recognize the income um, as you have that right to receive. So look at the receivables, look at the payables. If you have more receivables, you're going to wanna to be on the cash method so you don't have to pick up those receivables as income until they come in in cash. If you have more payables, you want to be under the accrual method because then you can deduct your payables before you pay them. Uh, even though you, you have to recognize the income before the cash comes in, you can at least recognize your expenses before the cash has to go out. So that's kind of a basic rule on um, what is, how, how to best determine which method to use, the cash method or the accrual method uh, for your accounting and tax purposes.